हेलो या प्रियांशु गुड इवनिंग आई एम डॉक्टर विजेंद्र स्पीकिंग हाउ आर यू या गुड इवनिंग सर आई एम फाइन सर हाउ आर यू थैंक्स अलॉट प्रियांशु एंड प्रियांशु बिफोर आई स्टार्ट इंटरेक्टिंग आर आस्किंग यू सम स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चंस आई वांट यू टू फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस योरसेल्फ टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स दे विल बी लिसनिंग टू यू आप कहां से हैं फ्रॉम व्हिच प्लेस ऑफ इंडिया यू आर एंड व्हाट इज योर बैकग्राउंड एंड व्हाट आर यू डूइंग प्रेजेंटली दोस थिंग्स यू प्लीज टेल ओके so uh, i'm priyanshu sarya as you have already uh, said so uh, speaking about my education curriculum so i have done uh, my btech in mechanical engineering from srm university chennai okay so i graduated in 2018 okay and uh, after that uh, i appeared for gate okay. however my score was uh, not up to the mark okay hence i took a years drop and then uh, i appeared again in 2019 okay So in 2019, uh, I uh, got a gate score of uh, 65.87, okay, and uh, out mark. of thousand, yeah, yeah, gate mark. Okay. And uh, the gate score came out to be 691. Okay, 691. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I am uh, from OBC category. Okay. And uh, hence I uh, tried to see like uh, where I can apply uh, with that score and uh, how much I can get from that score. Okay. So the options that came out uh, were Niti Mumbai, but uh, I was not very sure if I would get a call. Hmm. So I looked into other options too, and I applied for IIT Bangalore. Hmm. And uh, in IIT Kanpur, I applied for IME. Hmm. And uh, IIT Bombay, I applied. Hmm. And uh, besides that, I also applied for. and the courses uh, in various IITs where i could uh, i thought that i could get a chance okay so apprenshu what about and, you okay yeah yeah go ahead yeah sir so, uh, and after that i got call from uh, various IITs and uh, iisc too and then i finally made it to niti and isc okay. uh, i in isc i got the toms that is uh, masters of management okay and uh, finally i joined uh, niti mumbai in uh, pgd mm course okay and uh, currently i am pursuing pgd mm uh in niti mumbai okay and uh, speaking about my location sir i i i belong from assam mm-hmm. and uh, currently stay in mumbai okay you are from assam and you are staying in mumbai mumbai now okay yeah. so yeah. priyanshu are uh, you you have got very good cgpa i mean that is uh, btec percentage is 91% right yes sir okay good and uh, you mentioned that your marks in 2019 was 65 point something and 691 was score and with this you got multiple yes. options so uh, yeah. i want to ask you that other than niti bombay mm manufacturing management yeah uh, have you got uh, you have uh, got selected in any other uh, uh, thing like isc bangalore you mentioned uh, what did you get in yeah. isc bangalore that is mechanical only i uh, yeah with mechanical i got uh, non mechanical engineering i got masters of management uh, that is department of management study okay okay uh, sure. in isc bangalore so that yeah. also you got i it. also came to know about the course from your video itself okay good so that was the first time i came to know and then i applied okay good and iit madras yeah. me what did you get uh, priyanshu iit madras yeah iit madras i got applied mechanics uh, at the very end like uh, towards the end of the rounds i got a call uh, from applied mechanics and applied besides mechanics. that that was mtech huh? yeah yeah mtech okay and besides that i got call from iit delhi in various courses like okay. industrial tribology and uh, applied mechanics also i got from applied iit delhi applied mechanics and industrial tribology may you got from iit delhi yeah that is mtech yes sir yeah mtech so that must be direct and, admission uh, no <clears throat> uh applied mechanics they had uh, one exam uh, post uh, this one uh, post the uh, call and okay. also tribology they took an interview for that okay so i appeared for the interviews and then i got through. okay okay and you mentioned that you yeah. got in bhuvaneshwar also iit bhuvaneshwar also you got something yeah <coughs> in iit bhuvaneshwar i got the call from uh, all the courses uh, for mtech that is they have the design hmm. uh, thermal and uh, one more is uh, manufacturing Okay. So I appeared for the interview and I made through uh, in uh, manufacturing. So I didn't get selected in design. Okay. Uh, however, that was my preference. But then I got into manufacturing. Instead. Okay. Priyanshu, tell me one thing. Like <clears throat> there are three courses in uh, Niti Bombay, and flagship yes, course sir. is IE. But you got uh, manufacturing yeah. management. My question to you is yeah. that uh, uh, did you apply in all three or you applied only in manufacturing management? 
No, I applied for all three and my preference was first uh, IE and second was uh, MM hmm. and third preference was PM. Okay. So uh, I got in the first merit list itself. So I got PGD MM. Okay. And then I stayed in PGD MM itself. Okay. So you got a PGD MM. Uh, can you tell yeah. me, I mean, what is the MM, this manufacturing management? It looks like more for mechanical engineers. Can other engineering background students also join PM and uh, MM? <coughs> that is project management, if it is, if I'm not wrong, and MM. Can other branches also join? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, it is absolutely fine for other engineering uh, branches to join uh, these courses. Actually, uh, the courses are very much similar. That is IE, MM, and PM. Okay. Uh, the core uh, subjects are all similar. Only there are a few uh, differences in the electives. Okay. So, uh, uh, if anyone joins from any engineering background, I think uh, they will be very much comfortable. Okay. And uh, uh, like I, I mean to say that the comfort level in IE and MM and PM will be almost similar for all branches students. Okay. Because uh, mm -hmm. obviously, uh, it's a more amount of students come here from a mechanical background, mm -hmm. but uh, other engineering backgrounds also find the comfort level in all the courses similar. Okay. So, do you have other branch uh, students also as your classmates? Yes, sir. I have. We have textile, agriculture, electrical, all the branches we have. So that is in MMA? Okay. Yeah, and MMA you know, and PM also they PM have. PM also. It. Okay. So, you know, yeah. one, one question normally students ask when we guide them for NETI, they ask, uh, sir, what about the placements in PM and MM? I mean, they are just like yeah. uh, IE or they are different or, uh, I mean, we shall we get a placement in uh, PM and MM? Uh, yeah, sir. So, uh, speaking about the placements, uh, all NETI students uh, see for common placement uh, together in the final okay. final year, also in the summer internship. Okay, so okay. Uh, placement is almost similar. I will not say exactly similar for MM and PM, hmm. uh, but it is almost similar. Maybe one or two companies uh, uh, they differentiate somewhat sometimes. Hmm. But the overall, if you look at the placement uh, statistics and the placement process, it is hundred percent similar. It's uh, very similar. Okay. And yeah, you know, uh, uh, students, as you know, the fee structure in NETI Bombay is high. So students keep on yeah. asking and they keep on thinking that uh, since fee structure is high, then uh, uh, should we go for it or not? That is what normally they keep on uh, asking and keep on thinking. Their fee structure is high, yes. so what should we do? So uh, is it yeah. okay that uh, if uh, with this fee structure they can uh, go for it? I mean, uh, it's uh, good for them. Because they say that uh, sir, fee structure is so high, should we go for it or not? Or should we join MTech in IITs? So what is your answer to such kind of question? Yes, uh, as far as my opinion goes and as far as I have heard from my uh, friends also who are currently pursuing MTech and IITs, I think uh, NITI Mumbai is still the best option even after the increase in fees. Okay. Because if you are not exactly looking for MTech, like if you are not very uh, very much binded that I want to do MTech hmm. or I want to go in this line, okay. then I think uh, choosing between IITs and uh, NITI is pretty clear now that uh, looking from the placement perspective, hmm. NITI gives a much better returns. Okay. Compared to IIT. Return of investment, yeah. it is called ROI. Yeah, return. Yeah, <laughs> return of investment. Many of my I students mean. in NITI, they keep on telling me, sir, sir, ROI is very high. Return on yes, investment, sir. I think that is very high and that is good. And you know, what I've observed yeah. is the majority of students, Priyanshu, with whomsoever I've interacted uh, in from the NITI, they yeah. all are very much satisfied with the course. I mean, that is rarely happens yes, that uh, every student is so satisfied with the course uh, being run in an NITI and the kind of academics and kind of opportunities you get there. So that looks like really yes, good sir. there. Yeah, okay. the academics is really good and uh, the course structure is also made uh, like, uh, mm -hmm. it is created in such a way that uh, it suits very well looking at the industry and uh, the requirements of the industry. So absorbing students for industry from NITI has, is also really good. Mm -hmm. Like you need not to worry at all, like uh, if you'll be able to move into the industry or how you will perform in the industry okay. because the courses are very well structured according to that. Mm -hmm. Achha, one more question I want to ask you is related to the uh, admission process actually. So uh, what yeah. happens uh, exactly? Suppose you applied in uh, uh, this NITI Bombay and then what is going to happen? I mean once you apply, uh, then uh, they will call you for written exam or interview or GD or what is the procedure? Yeah, so uh, after you uh, fill the forms, they will uh, exactly give you mails. Uh, so you will get a mail that you have got the call uh, for NITI Mumbai. So, uh, it depends like whichever course you have applied, you can apply in all three or you can choose any one also. Okay. So uh, besides, uh, besides after getting the call, uh, you have to come to the campus uh, for your interview. Okay. So it's a two-step process. First, mm -hmm. there will be a group discussion and okay. then there will be a uh, personal interview. Okay.
So uh, both these processes will be completed in around uh, three to four hours. Okay. And uh, after that, you can move to your uh, location. Okay. So they also provide uh, look, accommodation uh, to students in the hostel if okay. uh, possible. Sometimes uh, it becomes a bit crowded and it's not possible. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they provide the location, uh, like uh, location and like staying facilities. Okay. And uh, overall, uh, in ZD, if I have to say it, and uh, mostly ZDs are generic uh, tropics, and uh, you can cope it up by. Uh, just looking in some current affairs and uh, mm -hmm. newspapers. Mm -hmm. So I think that is uh, very much sufficient. I and also, uh, if I, you I also heard that uh, there is some kind of a list they release your, I think some committee of students release some list of GD topics and more or less co uh, topics come from there only. Is that true? I mean, some uh, uh, topics Yeah, come. yeah. So after you uh, get the call, uh, you will also get a mail uh, from, it's called Team Impact. Okay. So they uh, that's a committee who look after the admission procedure. Okay, okay. So uh, they will uh, send you a basic guideline like how you should uh, like perform in the GD and how you should speak. Hmm. And uh, also uh, they will give a few GD topics to get uh, reference for your reference. Okay. So uh, that also helps a lot if you go through it. Okay. So because I was I was completely not aware like how to convert a GD or how to do in a GD. Hmm. So all uh, the help that I got was from Team Impact's uh, mail. Okay. So I followed the rules and uh, I I had a habit of going through newspapers. So for me uh, the GD topic was efficiency versus effectiveness. Which one we should follow? Okay. So, um, but we we all the students uh, took it in generic terms and they explained. So I think uh, that was uh, very much okay with the. Uh, mm. So how many students like, normally sit in GD? Uh, that uh, when you go for GD, how many students sit in GD? Yeah, it will be eight to ten students uh, in its GD group. In one GD group, huh? And okay. yeah. and uh, you, uh, this uh, uh, when uh, this GD marks is uh, added to final selection or this is qualifying? Um, I mean. Uh, rejection acceptance kind of GD. Oh no, it's not a rejection, uh, but its marks will be added in the final uh, like ranking to get the final ranking. Okay. So uh, uh, it will not be elimination criteria, but uh, after this you will be obviously uh, going for the next PI and okay. total score of all uh, like your academics and your gate score, your GD score, and uh, finally your. Uh, PI score will totally am, uh, like amount to okay. your selection in the So interview is one stage only. I mean, technical and PI is separate or one interview only. What do you say? No, it's it's just one interview. Sir. One interview only, no. And how much yeah. time? I mean, one uh, that into last and what normally they ask in interview. <clears throat> well, sir, it it varies uh, from student uh, because uh, there will be different panels consisting of different members of faculty and uh, people from uh, recruited people from the industry. Okay. So uh, it depends like uh, which uh, candidate is uh, selected and which amount of time because uh, they need certain amount of time uh, to uh, like actually verify if the candidate is suitable for them or not. Okay. So uh, looking at that, I have seen that uh, PIs vary from about uh, five to ten minutes to even twenty-five to thirty minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, if there is quite a bit of variation, mm -hmm. and uh, also the questions that are asked in the PA also varies a lot. Mm -hmm. For me, the PA was mostly based on my uh, hobbies and uh, whatever my area of interest is, okay. and uh, other re remaining was based on my profile. So there were only two questions that were technical. Mm -hmm. So, um, but however, I have also seen students for whom the interview was entirely technical and only two or three questions were asked based on their profile or their hobby. Mm -hmm. So you cannot exactly predict, but I'll say that you can actually drive the interview. So in which way you are pushing the interview, it will obviously go in that direction. Okay. And Prenshu, you know, uh, normally students ask you, sir, we should, can we apply NITI with this score or not? Though your PDMA, we have data, like we have your data, we are going to tell them that whether you should apply or not. But you, uh, can, do you want to say something, I mean, the last word that yes, with this score, uh, student who are having this score, they should apply. Do you want to uh, make such kind of comment? Like if you are from general category, then this score plus you should apply. And if you are from OVC, then this score you should apply. So uh, can you make some kind of this kind of comment? I mean, this kind of comment, uh, can you give? Hmm. Yeah, so it's actually uh, difficult to uh, give a comment on exactly, that because exactly. it varies from mm -hmm. year to year. Mm -hmm. So if you see in last year, uh, I think for general, the cutoff was 750 plus. Okay, 750 plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for OBC, uh, it was something 680. Okay. So uh, there was a quite a bit of uh, difference in between general and OBC. However, if we see in 2018, it was not the same. Mm -hmm. So 
so it depends on year to year and uh, the obviously the number of applications that come into NITI will be taken off and the number of candidates appearing overall in gate and the gate score also the toughness of the paper depends yeah. so i think um, if you have if you have a score that you think is good enough to give you a call i think you should yeah, apply and, and then try mm-hmm. yeah right. i think it's worth trying because mm-hmm. it's not a huge amount and uh, mm-hmm. uh, and giving a try is what it because mm. uh, neti okay. obviously the reputation mm. speaks for itself exactly. and you know i sometimes say that if you are from schedule caste and schedule tribe category then you should certainly apply because for sc category especially it is very less uh, so that is uh, there yes sir. Mm. for sc and st it's uh, particularly less Hmm. and i'm not very really sure of exactly uh, what was the cut off last year for yeah, nsc yeah, but yeah. Uh, i certainly do know that uh, it was quite less hmm. and prashu this ews economic weaker section was introduced last year only any idea about that yes, ews sir. students how much they got and all yeah i think uh, ews it was introduced last year so the cut off was down hmm. but i'm not very really sure sir exactly what was the cut off for them okay, okay. Uh, and also uh, uh, a cut off is not exactly provided by the institute uh, as we have seen earlier also so a uh, exact uh, number is not available okay. so you have to interact with mm-hmm. people and then maybe you will come to some so, conclusion so, that this uh, guy got friends you here i want to praise myself and your pedia because we are collecting that data <laughs> so we are collecting yeah. that data and we are intimating students like we are collecting yeah, from you we are calling <laughs> we are calling every student every day i am calling yeah. uh, 40 50 students and i am getting this kind of information so suddenly yeah. whatever information i have i will provide it to the students i yes, think sir and frankly frankly speaking sir uh, in my day also with 691 score i was very confused if i should apply or not yeah. however looked into a video and then i saw that uh, there was a increase in the fees and you said like uh, people below 700 also should take a chance applying because some people thinking the fees is too high may not apply so i think uh, i listen to your words and then that's that, that so is why i am happy priyanshu that uh, this has worked that way i am really happy yes yeah, yes sir So, Priyanshu, so uh, you know, uh, before I say thanks to you, finally, so anything you want to tell students, aspirant for uh, NITI Bombay, anything you want to tell? Yeah, I would like to say that uh, yes, your score might not be that high, but uh, in NITI, if you uh, apply and you get a call, hmm. your score doesn't really matter. It's uh, how you perform in the GD and the PI hmm. that will make you through. Even hmm. I was demotivated at the point of time. Uh, but uh, when I got the call, I did my best and I made it through. Even when I was among the last. candidates to have got the call mm-hmm. so, so don't lose your heart mm-hmm. yeah don't mm-hmm. lose your heart just give your best and you will make it through obviously your hard work you have done hard work and it will pay off mm-hmm. either yeah. today or tomorrow yeah yeah so keep walking mm-hmm. that's what i will say so-